Welcome back to Paradise Township Telephone. This is the three number three toll board. I've purposely left the lights dim in the room so you can see the lamps and indicators on the board. I'll probably do another video with the lights on so you can see the details of the board. There's two stations up here that are on the 486 office, the XY office, as well as a manual station. Let's talk about the manual station. You'll notice that down here there are two lights associated with each manual station of which there are eight wired on this board. When the customer goes off hook, of course they light the top light, the call light. In the old days, the operator would take a cord and to complete a call to a local station, she would touch the tip to the sleeve of the jack and if there was a click, the line was engaged and she would report to the calling customer that the line was busy. However, this board is a little departure from that wiring, so I've done it differently. When the operator plugs in to the jack, the light underneath comes on, and that lamp cap, if you can see, has an X in it, indicating that that line's busy. And that shows the other operators in the multiple, of course, there's only one on this board, that that station is busy. All right, so the board is designed to answer calls with the rear cord. So you answer the call, the operator would say, number please, and if the customer wanted a dialed connection, she would take a cord, plug into an outgoing jack, operate the talk key, of course, she would have done that beforehand, and the sender, the sender is not hooked up at this time, but the dials are. So we'll dial 486. Four, three, two, one which is one of the phones on top of the board. Central office completes the call and of course when the called party answers the supervision light goes out. There is a night alarm on this board. You turn this key, you turn on the night alarm. The operator closes her switch. Of course if the operator wants to monitor the connection, pull the switch back. And then when the parties hang up you'll see the supervisory light comes on. This is the dial extension and you hear the night alarm buzzer come on so the operator would uh, take down the cord, in this case the front cord and she is still connected to the uh, manual station and if the manual station hangs up the rear light comes on, the rear supervisory light, and she takes down the connection and everything's gone. Now, in a dial office when a customer dials zero to reach the operator in the 486 office these come in on recording trunks the light comes on, the night alarm comes on and also you notice the pilot comes on. The pilot is the light at the bottom of the panel where the circuit appears. That's panel 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So these recording trunks appear between before two different operators and two different panels. Answering the connection, the operator throws the talk key, takes the details of the call, and then to proceed the call, picks an outgoing circuit. Now I'm going to turn on what's called the idle indicator lights and that's done over here on a key on the end of the board and you'll notice that these little lights come on above these jacks. Those are also called jump indicators or idle indicators and the way that worked is the operator would always prefer the first circuit that's lit. So in this case this is labeled KZ dial and when you plug that in you notice that the jump indicator goes to the next circuit. Of course, the next operator, anywhere up and down the board, would plug into that, and it would jump to the next choice, and then jump to the next choice, and of course, after the final choice was selected, the light would simply go out, and uh, no more circuits in that group. Now, the idle indicators are wired so that the lowest circuit that becomes available relights. So let's say that this circuit was dropped by another operator on another position, but then circuit number one was dropped. You'll notice the idle indicator goes right over number two. It goes right back to number one. I'll unplug these two and I'll get back to our call. We've got our customer here on the recording trunk waiting on a, on a connection. I'm going to dial a test number to show you how the supervision works. So you throw the talk key and I'm going to dial 486 4609 which is a uh, supervisory test circuit in the XY and I don't have any audio for you to hear but you can see how the uh, indicators work. I'm going to close this key now so the operator is just uh, kind of waiting for something to happen here. This is the connector routine test. 
and it flashes supervision at 120 IPM. Now you notice that this green light is coming on and that is the cord pilot or any light that comes on on the cord rack here or the cord shelf lights that light to alert the operator. So uh, that wasn't the connection we wanted so let's pull that down and uh, we've got uh, a route here labeled Casey Dial which is a town here in central Illinois and then we also have a route which is outgoing to all numbering plan areas and that one has a little different dialing pattern it's uh, designed to dial with the last five digits so I'll dial that I'll dial that same number again that would be six four six oh nine and you'll again see how the uh, supervisor supervisory light works there the test trunk answered of course that wasn't the call that wasn't the destination the customer wanted so we'll do that and we'll call uh, we'll call uh, the other phone on top of the switchboard which is uh, 486 4321 and you notice that when that party answers supervisory light goes out the operator at this point can cut out of the circuit and if you want you can turn the night alarm on the operator can go take a break or have a cup of coffee and then of course when the uh, subscribers hang up there's a subscriber on the rear cord it could be such a thing that the subscriber on the front cord wants the operator for some reasons so she, the operator could uh, be recalled by the customer flashing the hook switch, but chances are they're just going to hang up and the operator would pull the connection down. This little timer was on this board. This board came from Nebraska and it's a six minute timer. Runs on 20 volts just like the calculograph does. That's the toll timing clock for the toll tickets. This timer dings at three minute intervals. There's three and there's six. I suppose that was for a reminder to the operator on a three minute initial rate. Now I also have the calculograph, the toll, toll ticket would be placed in the calculograph and the operator would start by pulling the green handle forward and then when the call answered and the supervision light went out the red handle, I'm sorry, the green handle would be pushed forward and then the ticket taken out and filed in a slot next to the cords whatever cord the connection was up on the ticket would be filed in the slot then when the supervisory lights would come back on that indicates that the call is completed the operator would take the ticket out again put it back in the calculograph which is not cooperating and then pull the red handle forward pull the red handle forward to complete the call and then that ticket is ready to be filed for pickup and rating and sending a bill to the customer. So that's it in a nutshell. That's the uh, number three toll board of Paradise Telephone.